Hello and welcome to this new video. It is a part of a list, so if you are new, please take a look to the previous videos because they are all connected. You will find the link on the description below. In this video, we will see how to communicate a PC with an ESP8266. The programming of the PC will be done with Python. We will not write code, but we will use a visual tool that generates a Python code. The tool is called EasyPython. In our architecture, an ESP8266 is running as a server and waiting for incoming requests. And the client is, in our case, a PC or a Raspberry Pi, will send these HTTP requests and will get an answer. By this way, these devices can send to each other information like sensors or commands. First, we will make our ESP8266 run as a server. We already saw how to do that several times. For that, I will use a template. Here I will clear the incoming request and show it on the serial monitor. Now I can answer to the client with some information. Uh, it could be a sensor's data. For this example, I will answer by a random uh, number. Now I will test uh, my uh, server. Here I am sending a HTTP request to the server and uh, it's answering by a random number. Now let's program the Python client. So go to the site easycoding.tn and search for any link to EasyPython. This block will send the HTTP request to the server. I need to create a variable that will contain the answer. Here I will show the answer on the terminal. Do not forget to change the name of the object. For testing, I will send 5 requests every 5 seconds. 
Do not forget also to change the HTTP request. Now copy your code into your Python IDE and run it. As you can see, I have the answer from the ESP8266. In the near future, I will make a video about how to handle a string with Python using blocks programming. I hope that you liked the video and see you soon. Bye!